Hey everyone, welcome back to Saturday Music Machines. Today I want to have a look at this. This is the Wired Heart Synthesizer. So I picked up a couple of weeks ago. It's a bit of a weird one this one. So let's take a look at it. What is it? Well, <laughs> it's a battery powered experimental sound synthesizer. Features six sensors which can detect touch and humidity. Each of the sensors controls the pitch of an oscillator. Press harder or have more sweaty hands to get a higher pitch. Touch mul multiple sensors at the same time to create crazy sounds, crazy cross modulations rather, by the current flowing through you. Ooh. Each sensor serves a different function. And it's best to explore the wired heart sound universe by trial and error. Just insert a 3 volt C2032 battery and have fun. <clears throat> so as you can see, we've got the master oscillator 1 and 2. We've got slave oscillators. Um, some more slave oscillators down there. And these are just copies, apparently. The line-out headphones acts as an on and off switch, so... When it's unplugged, it doesn't actually use that much power, according to this. So, yeah, so, uh, a quick demo. <laughs> Interesting. So how does it work? There are two master oscillators, which I said. Uh, two slave oscillators. The slave oscillators are modulated in different ways. The left master oscillator modulates the amplitude of its associated slave oscillators. When the master frequency is low, you can hear the two slave oscillators being turned on and off, alternately. Um, higher frequencies create weird, sometimes voice-like sounds. In stereo, the upper right slave oscillator is modulated in a hard sync-like way. The oscillator is reset each time the master oscillator starts a new cycle. This creates rich sound spectra reaching from stutter to voice-like sounds uh, to unexplainable stuff, it says here. The lower right oscillator is frequency modulated by the master oscillator. At the lower master frequencies, this creates tremolo effects. At higher frequencies, you will hear sounds like bells or voices. Bizarre. Um, via the stereo output jack, the wired heart can be connected to an amplifier or headphones. The output jack additionally works as a power switch, as I said. So. Yeah, it's in standby mode when you switch it off. So, so it comes with, here we are. So it comes with some LEDs, three LEDs, three LDRs, the potentiometer, and <laughs> you don't get a banana with it though, unfortunately. So each oscillator of White Heart comes with extension ports, which are here. So as I say, we've covered what it comes with. Um, so yeah, you can plug in some LDRs and use your hand to cover the lights, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. Uh, the LEDs will flash with, at the rate of the oscillators. So yeah, by creating a few components, you can create a never repeating chaotic self-driven sound source. So let's, let's have a go. <laughs> so. Let's have a look here. So let's get some LEDs. Little LED. So there's little, you can see that here. So input and output ports and a ground, which is the little sort of T. So I think it goes in like that. 
It goes in like that. So. Let's just turn the light down a bit. Yeah, see that a bit better. Let's pop it in that one actually. There we go. See it working now. You can just plug the potentiometer, use the first two legs in the input and output ports. So I'll just plug that in. Turn the light up. Changes the pitch. <laughs> so as you can see, it gets a bit, a bit bonkers. <clears throat> Just get pretty wacky. Mad. There, you get the idea. So, <clears throat> just a quick look at this thing. So it's quite, yeah, quite an interesting synth. So, the, so the, with all the kit, you don't actually need to do any soldering, which is quite handy. So, just take these headphones off. So, yeah, that concludes a little demo of this. So, quite an interesting little synth. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!